Hello. Um, I've been wanting to do this video for a while now. Um, I just haven't done it. There's a couple of videos I've been wanting to do for a while now. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and start doing them here in the next week or two. But um, I haven't done it because it's a touchy subject, I think, for a lot of people. And so um, I, I don't know. To me, it really isn't. But I'm, I mean, I don't know. Anyway, I want to talk about self-sabotage. Uh, I want to see what y'all think about this because I was thinking about this. I actually talked to um, Leah, if uh, y'all are, she's the other person on, in the um, group, in the group on Facebook, um, my helper or whatever. Uh, we were talking one day and it's, it's, it's funny because it's stuff that I've already thought of like over the past year or two. Um... And I've thought about this. It's got. It's been in my head from time to time, you know. And I always wonder about this, and I want to bring it up. Um, Sometimes, of course, like I like I always do. Whenever I'm speaking of something, I always talk about myself in terms of me and how I think and how I feel about what's going on with me and my anxiety, my personal experience, what what I've gone through, what I feel, what I think, you know, all this stuff. Um, so. Here we go. Um, I've actually wondered um, if I happen to sabotage myself without really realizing it, I guess. Um, like subconsciously, if I sabotage myself into keeping the anxiety. Um, let me explain. There's a few things I can actually explain when it comes to this. Um, do y'all ever have, uh, I know y'all have, I know for a fact because I've talked to a few people about this and they're all like, oh my gosh, yes. Um, do you ever have where like whenever you um, have a good day, for instance, or you have where like you're actually feeling good for a little bit or like you're happy, you're, you're anxiety free, do you ever like start freaking out? Like you start like, oh my gosh, what's going on? What's wrong? What's going on? Why, why do I feel good? Why, why am I feeling so calm? Oh my goodness, am I breathing? Like you start having all these thoughts. And then of course that throws you into having actual anxiety again. So, you know, it's like a vicious cycle. And um, I, I was thinking about this and I thought, um, sometimes I think that like for me, for instance, that I'm used to having anxiety. It's become a habit, um, in a way, to just have anxiety. It's something that I always fall back on. It's something that I always um, use as a crutch, in a way. Um, I'm not saying it's a good crutch. I'm not saying it, do it makes me feel good, because it doesn't at all. Um, but it it's kind of gives me a crutch, in other words, so that I don't have to deal with what's going on around me in real life. Like, I don't have to deal with reality because... I'm so focused on this horrible, horrible thing that's happening to me, you know, and um, sometimes I wonder, you all know that I have anxiety still, I still have the symptoms, I still have all these things happen to me, um, but I have been wondering about this, like, I honestly believe that I do self-sabotage myself and um, to keep me from doing things, or like, um, like, how do I explain it? Um, like that whole, like I explained with the whole, like good, whenever I'm having a good day or good minutes, you know, whatever, I start to freak out. Um, I start thinking crazy thoughts like, oh my gosh, I actually, like whenever I have a good day, like remember one time or when things start going good in my life, I automatically start going into like this panic. Um, because I start thinking, oh my goodness, something bad's about to happen. Something horrible is about to happen because, but the reason why is because throughout my life, I've always had moments, like high moments, where I'm feeling really good about myself or happy things, good things are happening, and then like I, everything comes crashing down around me. Um, it happens every single time. So like every time I start and see me saying that, I'm just, that's a bad thing what I just did. Um, me saying that, it's like I'm making it real. I'm making it like that's a true statement, you know? And it's really, okay, my life has shown me that, but in reality, it really isn't. Like, if I think logically, it really isn't. And honestly, it really and truly is not. If I, I have all those good moments, I have all that happiness, but it's like I focus on the negative. So, like, um, sometimes I think, like, for instance, um, um, like, let's say I'm going to, 
I don't even know. It's like I get scared. I don't even. It's like I get scared to live because I'm afraid that something bad's gonna happen, or I'm afraid that I'm gonna mess something up. So I use the anxiety to get out of situations that would put me in a situation where I have to make a choice or where I have to actually do something in my life, you know, um, because I'm afraid that it's going to screw up or I'm going to screw it up or whatever. So I'd rather just stay where I am in my safe little anxiety bubble, um, even though it's not very safe. I don't feel very safe in there, but it's safer than me going out and making a decision and it ruining everything. You know, in my head, I'm kind of like, I, see, this is just, I'm sorry. This is the way my brain works. So if I'm confusing anybody, I'm very sorry. I'm trying to put these, but to put my thoughts into words. And sometimes that's really hard for me. Um, it's extremely hard for me. If y'all know anything about personality types, I am an INTP. Um, INTPs are rare, but they tend to not be able to express themselves very well. Um, that's uh, just, just know that. Um, so it's hard for me to explain, you know, that's why it's really hard for me to make some videos, you know, a lot of my videos is really hard. Um, but, um, yeah, so I just wondered, I do think that I do self-sabotage myself a lot. Um, I am, you know, and like, um, but I still do it. And, um, it's like, I honestly feel like I do it to myself because in a way, because honestly, I really am doing it to myself. Um, I don't know how to get out of the habit. And I, I guess that's what I, I want to talk about. Uh, I don't know. I'll make another video. I'm going to make a better video here, maybe in the next couple of weeks on this. I'll actually do some thinking and like write things down because I, I think really greatly. And then I start having conversations with people and great ideas pop into my head. And then like I do a video like this a week later and all of a sudden... I forgot what I, all the things I had thought of. So um, I'm going to do that again. But I just wanted to bring this up. I don't know if any of you deal with this. Um, but yeah. But remember, you're not alone. And uh, we got this. Everything's good. We're all silent warriors. And um, t share with me what you think, how you feel about that. Do you feel like you self-sabotage your own life? Um, do you feel like you use anxiety as a crutch or a safety blanket or like a comfort zone? Um, a horrifying one, but still, nonetheless, um, tell me, leave it in the comments, and, uh, remember to follow me on Instagram, and, um, join the group on Facebook, I have the links to it on my, um, on my page, uh, on my channel, and, um, yeah, just tell me what you think, uh, I'll talk to you guys later, bye.